Hey, what's up? Welcome to the newsletter. We're outside today, and uh, Blue has outgrown the doghouse I built for him. It's an, uh, it's an icosahedron, which means it has 20 sides, and a quick science tidbit, it's the same molecular shape as most viruses. So, there you go. Welcome to the newsletter. I'm really excited to have you. It was a pretty cool week. Uh, the end of classes. Um, praise the Lord. Now we got more time and more space and more brain capacity and more energy to work on hanging with Jeannie. Okay, this past week was the graduations at USC and it was really cool. A lot of my great friends graduated and I'm so proud of them. Um, really inspiring, emotional, pride-filled day. A shout out to Maria Esters, my little cousin who graduated, super proud of her. And then also shout out to the co-creator, showrunner, producer, boss of Hanging with Jeannie, Paisley Smith. That's my partner in crime, really proud of her. She'll be on the show next week, so you'll get to meet Paisley then. Another thing that occurred in my mind during graduations was, uh, you know, they'd announce people their degrees and stuff. And then the PhDs were announced, the doctors were announced, and I got to thinking, you know what? Maybe I get a PhD, wouldn't that be cool? If I got a PhD, I'm already doing a lot of research for Hanging with Jeannie about the impact of technology on society, on children and how they use it. But I'm particularly interested in the impact film and media and technology has on youth. And specifically, you know, more disenfranchised and use of color that's really interesting to me so I'm considering I'm playing with the idea of getting a PhD that'd be so cool young brother a doctor Dr. D's I think that has a cool ring to it you should put your comments below if you agree with me you think that'd be a cool idea then encourage me because it's it's the gears are in motion maybe I don't know we'll see okay music um, last week I told you I had produced two tracks and I only played one, so I'm gonna play the other one this week. Now, I mentioned I'd been doing a lot of research on the development socially and emotionally of children ages like six to 10. So, you know, based on some of that research and articles and studies, I started writing this song and the song proposes different scenarios to kids and then asks, what would you do when you get the chance? What will you do when you get the chance? When you get the chance to become a president, what will you do? When you get the chance to help a friend, what will you do? Here is a really quick preview of the song, What Will You Do When You Get the Chance? What would you do as a president? Would you visit the world in a private jet? Would you work to make peace? Would you take a stance? What would you do when you get the chance? Okay, so that is a work in progress. I'm excited to finish that off and we're gonna feature some really cool people. I'm gonna keep it a secret now, but there are some LA artists and singers that will be featured vocally on that track, <coughs> Kristen Cromwell. Um, so get excited for that. Shout out to Andrea who sent us some video of kids watching and dancing to our music. That was really inspiring. So thank you for that. And here, here, I'll show you a quick Colors. 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 If you have friends, siblings, nieces, nephews, children, brothers, sisters, um, record them watching the stuff and then send it in and we'll put it in a little montage music video and feature them on the show. I think that's about it. Blue is telling me to wrap it up. Come here, Blue. <laughs> Blue's telling me to wrap it up. So we're gonna get out of here and we'll see you next week on Keeping Up With Jeannie. Wanna say anything? All right.